Yeah, so um, I don't know if I mentioned the timing broke, belt broke on the bug two weeks ago. Um, it's an interference-ish engine, so that means that the valves interfere with the pistons, uh, so I expect some to be bent. But I went on the Facebook Marketplace and, uh, yeah, bought me a new engine. Um, so I need the head, basically, this part up. Whoops from there so uh, broad strokes I'm going to remove the engine from there put on a stand swap that head put it on that engine um, I bought a gasket set and I bought uh, the bolts they're special stretch bolts the guy gave me some tools for messing with the chain I'm not familiar with that part so yeah uh, this engine he said ran when it was done uh, I'm going to strip some of the components off that still work, like the power steering pump and the other things when I'm done. But, um, yeah, that's the plan. Um, it's going to basically take about th th three to four hours to get the engine out. And then um, uh, uh, mess a couple evenings of getting the engine back together. Then uh, half a day to put it back in. And um, if I'm all successful... That engine just got 90,000 miles on it. It'll have a new head, new valves. Uh, about $120 for all the gaskets, spark plugs, new timing belt. Um, and, uh, yeah. And uh, he gave me all the parts that when he took this out and other parts and plastic things. I'm going to have to sort through all this. But, um, in fact, I even got more over here. Um, this stuff is dirty and plastic so i'm just gonna leave it out so i sort through this uh, worst case is it gets a little cleaner so yeah that's the plan yep uh later this week we're gonna change the oil on this and replace the rear drinker side um pads and rotor and then we'll get rid of that and uh after this weekend i'm gonna put the tools away hide them up there and get a little more working room um i do have a car lift engine lift and i do have an engine stand so we'll probably just do all that out here in the yard so, there you go so we got a new server at work she's got a lot of airflow it might get a little loud here So I found the car owner and I'm making her help me do her brakes. We got the old rotor off. We had to use some swear words, uh, some really long wrenches and a couple more swear words. A couple. So now we're putting on the bracket. We filed it and got the rust off so that things will go on nicely. Things being brake pads, calipers. Uh, we moved up the caliper pins that were kind of sticky. Then we'll put these on and uh, we have to clean up that and push the pin back. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Put it back. And then um, we'll put the pads on and where are the pads? I don't know, where are the pads? You don't have the pedalators? Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got to find the pedalators. Oh, we're also changing the oil, which is why that's up. So in today's episode of Where the Hell's My Robot Vac, um, it should be right here charging. It's not over here. Sometimes it gets stuck over there, but I... Now keep the treadmill up. Sometimes it gets stuck over there, but I don't see it there. Well, there you are, stuck underneath the recliner. That's a good place for it. Come here, you. Ah, oh, you're really stuck too. Yep, and the battery's dead. Well, she's going home for the night. Come here, Oofy. I need to clean Oofy out. I think I haven't touched her a while. Ah, oh, she's charging. She's a happy oofy. That's a happy oofy. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, last time I went to, uh, Southern Ohio and went off-road, these tires, which were in the front, and those tires in the back didn't do me very well. Um, these tires still got a lot of grip on them. I do want to replace them before the spring comes up, not because of this, because they're kind of old and they're bouncy. Uh, but then I realized... 
these are more aggressive tread. I'll put these in the back, these in the front. So that's what we got. Now, unfortunately, I also got another motivator. Got me a new impact. This is a version three uh, pin to tent Milwaukee. And um, a couple notes. One, it couldn't take the freaking things off. Two, um, can't take the socket out. You literally have to uh, push that pin in. It does not pop off. I didn't expect that. I haven't tried it with any other sockets, but I was quite surprised. I even put this in a vice thinking it was just stuck on there because I was looking at this side, which has no pin. I forgot that I did use the pin. It was on this side. Sure enough, I pushed that pin and pops right off. So, yeah, I didn't expect that. Um, one of the things I am going to be doing this summer is uh, scraping off the rust, priming it, and then uh, painting it with the super epoxy paint. Um, the frame has a little bit of rust, but uh, I think she'll clean up. Uh, the goal is to get 200,000 miles or 300 or 400. I'm not sure which, but... Uh, this hopefully will be the only truck I ever own a second time because I had one a long time ago that we don't talk about. Fox, just say meow to release one. Meow? Echo, how many cats are in the box? Okay, once again, it's Saturday morning, uh, about 5.15 a.m. It's nice that it's already bright out. Uh, last night, we sorted all the tools and figured out what we needed. Uh, probably what's the big delta. Um, not bringing the, the uh, generator because it won't run the compressor. There's a big one down south. Uh, bringing the track saw. I'm bringing the Makita track saw because we're going to be cutting down sheets of T11 and flooring. Um, less tools this time because I compacted it better. This kind of disturbs me. Why are there less tools? I don't know. So we got that handy strap in there. So she's ready to go. Missing the big garage sales at uh, Garrettsville. Kind of disappointed. Um, it's only been two years, but uh, yeah, maybe I didn't need more stuff. I don't know. I did hit a couple of state sales on Friday. Kind of escaped for a little bit and left. Um, found one that opened at 7 o'clock and bought a nice four-pack CD of Dave Matthews Band in concert. So since this uh, doesn't have an aux in and I ripped the stereo apart because it does work as a CD player, we'll be listening to that as opposed to the Spotify of the day. So yeah, well, now we have a three and a half hour drive. So it's Sunday morning and uh, our cabin has apparently captured a, uh, a native running wild um not sure what's going on here um uh, it's her first youtube star dube 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 what what do you how do you pronounce it exactly like that. okay it's a dube so uh yesterday obviously we got the one wall up and we got the second wall up so now we just have to do these two walls uh for semi obvious reasons we'll do the back wall first those walls are going to be a little more complicated because there's a door in the front and there's a window in the back but um it's um it's warm here but not terribly warm um uh, yeah so our goal is to get out of here by one o'clock um use miter saw uh air compressor generator on the air compressor lots of liquid nails tools that i brought that we'll never need that was very handy to hold the other side of the two by fours for cutting um air nailers uh track saw <coughs> so about <coughs> a bunch of tools so anyhow so i'm not sure this bug's name but um he's kind of like what you'd expect bug to look like i'm gonna call him buggy okay so we got this ball almost done Okay, so we got the wall in place. We're doing the final adjustment. Of course, we're taking the average of all the offs, trying to keep it near the center bubble, but uh, all that shade, the wind feels so good. Man, good. Um, then uh, it's just a matter of nailing the sides into the sides and we do the next wall. So it's progressing. Um, we decided to add some what are called crippled studs, these outer studs here to support that header. 
and uh, so we had to make this three inches longer to accommodate the inch and a half on either side. But yeah, it's hotter today, and more humid, but at least it hasn't rained, so trucks will get out fine. Okay, so uh, yeah, GTFO. We got a nice way to collect water for the animals. Be back in August-ish. We got the truck all packed. She's been idling with max air. So it's like 61 degrees in there. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully those things will stay there and not end up there, but whatever. I'm not sure what road this is, but it's in Southern Ohio. It's one of my favorite spots. It's just, you just see for miles. Miles, miles, miles. There's cars and you never know who you're gonna run into. Oh shit. And there's a, I wanna climb that so bad. And there's like this little church over there and just yeah. And then the rest of this road, which will eventually hit 